Here are some facts he didn't know about some singers. Did you know Chris Christopherson once worked as a janitor at Columbia Records where Johnny Cash recorded? He would later sell a song to Cash called Sunday Morning Coming Down. Johnny Cash, Wayne and Jennings shared an apartment together in the 1960s for a brief time. Did you know Michael Jackson dated and married Elvis Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie, in the 1990s, but they got divorced shortly after? They were friends for a long time, and then they were dating for a little bit, and then they got married. But they were only married for, like, a year or something before they got divorced. It's always been said that Elvis was the king of rock and roll, and Michael Jackson was the king of pop. I wonder if Elvis and Johnny Cash ever met. I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't believe so. Tiny Tim was best known for his falsetto voice and his small ukulele guitar when he would sing Tiptoe Through the Tulips to name a few songs. But did you know Tiny Tim had a brief country career with some covers of some famous songs from Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers to name a few artists as well as some songs he created himself as well. But that would only be a brief time as Tiny Tim would go back into the pop career as well. Did you know that Elvis Presley's hair was originally blonde? Now in this photo you can actually kind of tell that hair is turning back to blonde as he would dye it. And then quickly after he would dye it again because it would turn quickly back to his original hair color. In some light you would actually see his hair still being blonde. But Elvis, actually his hair was originally blonde, but he dyed it for whatever reason. I'm not 100% sure why. And lastly, this is Willie Nelson on the top picture. Yes, you probably don't recognize Willie Nelson with his short hair, but back in the 1950s, late 1950s, early 1960s, when you went to Nashville, it was a requirement that you would actually have to have Short hair and no facial hair at all. But Willie's career in Nashville actually didn't last that long. And then he started his outlaw career in the late 1960s, early 1970s. And then he started to grow out his hair again. Or he started to grow out his hair. And that's the look that we know today. But the picture on the top is actually Willie Nelson. Anyway, this is facts about some facts about the singers.